guys welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new um i'm tisha and i am doing a goose creek candle haul today they had a candle haul or candle day sale uh, the first week of sas i'm not sure when i'll get this video posted because i've been doing quite a bit with the bath and body works sas sale but their candle sale really wasn't um that great really wasn't that um like appealing i did order some last night they had their 11.95 sale but I didn't go crazy. Just got a couple of online exclusives and a couple um, that I won for different videos. I'm doing a few more of those pop culture videos and there was a few in there that intrigued me to have in my collection. So um, I grabbed just a few, just a couple. And as I'm going in store, um, hopefully at this point you've seen my uh, price adjustment rant where I did a little haul. It took every associate in the store to get me a price adjustment. And now I see that the 90s are own collection and the Fruit Fizz collection has um, dropped to 70% and every part of me is like, okay, that would save you so much money because I bought it all on the first day. But I don't wanna go in the store. I know I'm gonna have to, but I told them that day, I'm gonna put it right back into your store. I usually just will get more product, but oh, it really troubled them. And I'm just like, I wish you could just call online. I, w I wish it was that simple. I mean, I have a receipt number. They could track it to my account. They do always do, they track it to your rewards app. So it's like, I couldn't call and then also go in store. Um, they would see that I already had my price adjustment. So wish you could do it online. I really do, but that's neither here nor there. So I'm gonna share with you the six candles I chose on Candle Day. I had 10, 15 in my car at one point, but I have really been trying to shift into finding new ways to share my collection with you guys and enjoy what I have. I love doing post burns. I love doing current burns and those are, from people that I love to watch on here. I try to, you know, kind of make it a community of people doing those same things. I also collect, I have certain candles that I hoard, that I call hoarding, but I might have three backups. Um, I have certain candles that I just wanna have at least one of in case they don't come back that next season to enjoy. So I will always have that, but you know, I, I don't, I don't live a minimalist life, obviously, but I do like to be aware of what I have. And, um, you know, when you get to a point where you're waiting for that box to come and you're not as excited as the day you bought it, does anybody ever do that? Or am I crazy? Um, you know that you kind of almost need to slow down a tiny bit just to enjoy what you have. And then you feel a little bit more validated to, you know, get in down that next sale. I miss sales all the time. I don't hit every sale. But like I said, with that price adjustment thing, I don't know when I give my SAS tips video for the winter time, I have some thoughts on things I'd like to change because I feel like there's different ways to go about that sale. We always think we're gonna miss out, but I went really in on that first day or two and then now we're only in week two and everything I bought is almost half the price. And I know I was afraid of missing out, but now it's like I have to go and like deal with like adjustments. And I know this is like a long intro into nothing. So I'll get into the candles, but like, just let me know down below, like what do you guys do in those situations when you buy quite a bit? Like if you're one that just buys one set of something you like, this is probably not an issue that you have. But when you buy quite a bit, and I don't just buy it for this channel, I've always bought things this way. I mean, I have family members that have one or two sprays that I probably gave them and they're completely happy. And they look at what I have and they're like, why? I'm like, I don't know, this makes me happy. So the makeup and the bath and body works and the candles, those are the things I have always collected, always. And they're just things that make me happy. That's why when I moved and I lost my collection, it felt like I lost something of extreme value because I had, I had collected and saved certain candles that were memories are hyped up and are given to me from some, you know, and I was just like, that was a thing. And it was just candles, but if they really do make me happy. So talking about Goose Creek, man, they have been really coming for Bath and Body Works lately. Not really, but they have been putting up the most unique collections. They have been having the best deals. They have really improved their shipping now that we're kind of relaxed and all the COVID things. I think I'm getting my stuff within a week of ordering it, which is amazing. It was three weeks to a month, but we were in the thick of the quarantine and everything, understandably. So everything's arriving in pretty decent shape and they're stepping up their packaging on certain collections. They always do colored wax. And it's just, the thing of it is, is the price. It's like when you can get a candle for 10 bucks or 14, you're always gonna go for the $10 candle. So Candle Day was 
uh, or 9.95, I can't remember. But I post that on my Instagram. I have that link down below. Um, it, I do, I'm trying to amp up my Instagram. It's nowhere near goals. It's like just a beginner. But I really just have always been a subscriber to all or a follower and never a sharer. And now I'm trying to share. So I shared about it on there. I will do that as often as I can. I also include candle reviews on there and sense of the day. So if you would like to, please subscribe to my Instagram. And also here, if you haven't, I've, I'm about at 700, which is just so exciting. You guys, I've been on YouTube for like four months. And so, holy moly, I just looked and I'm like six minutes into a ramble. I'm going to get to the candles now. If you're still here, um, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. So let's jump into the one candle I got that's a little wonky, but I'm not returning. I'm not calling. So I did try to do, I tried to do a thought process. I want, I have a bunch of pop culture videos in mind, so I need a variety of scents. Um, also, there were some new summer stuff that came out just for that sale, and I was intrigued. But also, I have a couple more types of videos in mind, like Battle of the Coffee Scents, Battle of the Drink Scents, Battle of the Pie Scents. So, I needed a few of those. So, that's how I rounded up my six. But like I said, when I started, I had like 15 in my cart. I'm really surprised I didn't get them all because it was such a good price. But let's just jump into what I did grab. Here we go. Six minutes in. That is a long start. So Beach Kiss, and the thing is, is when I first started getting to Goose Creek, these labels never like, sh like made me super excited, but they were never not cute. It's usually just a stock picture with the name of the candle. They do not include notes, so I do read from paper because I'm filming on my phone or I'd pull up my phone and look way cooler. Um, so what I like about Goose Creek candles when they do have the stock label is that they always include a really pretty wax. And for, for me, only once or twice, ooh, just opening that smelled so good. Only a couple times have these the wax color being darker made the candle burn down like that. I feel like that is the case when it's not white. Sometimes the colored wax will burn quicker, but I have not been noticing that with Goose Creek, so they must do something to their candle formula that doesn't make these go super quick. Every once in a while, though, I'll get a candle and I'm like, didn't I just like this? Why is it gone? So back to Beach Kiss, um, the reason I was saying I'm not going to return it is at, when I looked at all the candles, they came great. I do inspect just to make sure, but this one had something like spilled on it or something, didn't affect the smell, and hey, I'm going to burn it, and I just don't want to, like I said, when they've been so good to me, I'm not going to be this nitpicky, but you know, I'm not saying you are if you return, but there's like these little speckles and weird brown stuff in here, and when I smelled it, I was like, if this smells weird, I'm calling, but it smells amazing. Oh. I just hit the thing. Um, it smells amazing. It's apricot, strawberry, limeade, and island sunset. And all those fruits really do uh, marry together well, and I can smell them. Like I smell like almost like a dried apricot and a sweet strawberry, and the limeade isn't too strong. Sometimes that can really kind of take over other fruit notes. And the island sunset, I think, is like a little bit of a, just a sweet, perfumey smell. I don't know, it's just a very sweet, it's kind of light on cold, but also almost smells like it's going to be good on a throw because of the way that fruit um, is in there. It smells like it's going to be a decent throw. So we're going to see. That's Beach Kiss. And then I got Cupid's Cocktail. I don't know. The picture got me. I love this color of purple wax. My wicks are buried in there though. So that's not going to be a cut the wick situation. But this is notes of pink raspberry fruit flavoring and candied sugar. Very sweet, very fruity, not a drink note. I don't smell anything fizzy, seltzery, drink notey. There's no like alcoholic kind of rum or anything like that. So we're just going to see how it does. But I thought that one kind of looked interesting. I think the purple just got me. And then I grabbed two from this collection. Really pretty wraparound label. Let me give you a little tour. And these aren't luminary, they're gold. But when the candle is lit inside, it still makes the package really pretty. When they do a wraparound label, they always include white wax, or I can't say always, but most of the time that's been my experience. And I didn't tell you what this was. I'm sorry. This is strawberry cake pop. I love fruit, so you know this was intriguing to me. All Goose Creek lids look like this, just so you know. I haven't gotten any fancy lids from Goose. Um, but strawberry cake pop is fresh strawberry, um, strawberry, golden shortcake, sugar, and whipped cream, vanilla cake, and pink icing. And I really do love the strawberry in here. It almost smells like when you 
make strawberry shortcake and you cut them up and then you put a little sugar and you kind of mix it in there and then like it kind of makes like a jelly or whatever. I smell that. I smell the whipped cake or whipped cream and I can smell like the yellow golden shortcake. So very excited to have this one. And then in that same collection, I went ahead and grabbed chocolate covered strawberry. And this is another really pretty wrap around with the gold metallic flakes. The wax is white. And that's faux, so interesting, faux interesting. It's so interesting. So interesting how the strawberry note smells completely different. Let me give you the notes on this. Ripened strawberry, raspberry with Belgian cocoa, fluffy marshmallow, vanilla bean, and milk chocolate. And I think, yeah, it's like the ripe raspberry might, with the strawberry just makes this a completely different fruit strawberry scent. I really love the, like the Belgian cocoa milk chocolate note in this one. So I'm happy to have this as well. Moving right along. I mentioned that I want to do a couple of like best of coffee candles, best of I'm spoiler alerting all over the place in this video. So this one intrigued me and it kind of basically beat out a few backups. Like there's some I've burnt and I've liked and I don't back up my goose collection. Like I do with Bath and Body Works, almost like a rule. If I love a Bath and Body Works candle, I buy one or two more right away. I don't do that with goose. I think it's just because I feel like that would become quite an overwhelming collection. Maybe someday when I have money. But so when I like something, I'll throw that in my cart, but there's usually so many new ones that they win, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I grabbed this cold caramel latte because I do want to do like a coffee candle video. I love coffee. I'm going to wait till it's closer to fall though, or closer to the end of the month at least, because I want to burn a couple of these. This is so nice. And I think this is a super cute picture. And even this color of wax is unique to my collection. I don't have a lot of like tan camel colored waxes. So the notes are salted caramel toffee. Okay, that's the note that I was like, what is that? Yeah, that is so nice. Okay, salted caramel toffee, coffee bean, vanilla bean, and cream. And wow, you guys, I was like, I smelled it before I read the notes. Because I did write the notes, but I wrote them a few days ago. It's that toffee. I like that a lot in here. So that is cold caramel latte. And it smells amazing on cold. Not as strong as Paris Cafe, I will say. So we'll see how it does burning. And then the last one, this is the one I just had to get. I wanted the whole the World Traveler collection, but I just picked up France because this packaging is so beautiful. I actually don't even want to burn this. I just want this to be in my collection. I will burn it eventually, but this is Marshmallow Macaroon and the notes are candied blueberry, crystal sugar, blue raspberry, soft lemon, sh uh, sugared meringue, and fluffy marshmallow. I'm excited to smell, I haven't smelled yet. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's that lemon that kind of gives it the meringue. But yeah, that was tart lemon when I smelled it. And then you get a little bit more of that vanilla sugar. I don't get any blueberry. Mm, I'm interested to burn this. I don't know why I thought it would be more like cakey or something or chocolatey, but it's that's not what it says in the title. I just figured I'd smell like chocolate in here. Lemon, that's so interesting. So yeah, but this packaging is beautiful. And what color is the wax? White wax. So those are the six candles I chose for Goose Creek Candle Day. Now looking back, I probably should have got a few more, but that's okay. That's okay. They'll have another sale sometime and I'll get them then. So let me know down below. This video is way too long for six candles. I am so sorry. Let me know down below which of these you'll be excited for me to throw into a current burn because I have a lot going on, but I still always will move things back for an exciting release on a candle. You know this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in another video tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Bye.